it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Now that's the opinion of President Barack Obama on the issue of same-sex marriages. But today a group that supported him getting elected is now speaking out against his position. More than a dozen African-American pastors and civil rights ministers in Memphis came together today to say they want President Obama to reverse his decision. And they want him to know the same-sex marriage issue is hijacking, they say, the civil rights movement. In Midtown Memphis, more than a dozen black ministers stepped off their pulpits to stand behind a podium to denounce President Obama's support of same-sex marriage. We stand for marriage between a man and a woman. Some would like to call it a civil right, but no right is a civil right if it's not square with God. These ministers are part of the coalition of African-American pastors. They say the same-sex marriage debate is hijacking the civil rights movement. I was in the civil rights movement, and I can tell you that I did not march one inch, one foot, one yard, one mile for same-sex marriage. We are not here as haters and bashers of the gay community. We're here to say that your contentions is not legitimate. Will Batts is the executive director of the Memphis Gay and Lesbian Community Center. I'm glad that he came out in support of uh, gay people being married. That's a big deal. But Batts says he's disappointed with the position of some religious leaders. This is really not about telling other people how to believe or to live their lives. It's really talking about access to equality, access to all those rights and benefits that people get when they're married. These pastors won't say if the president's same-sex marriage opinion will be an election year liability for their support, but they say they hope he will at least listen to them. We're not to say we're not going to vote for him or we're going to vote for him, but we just want our voice to be heard, just like the homosexuals voice for her. I think the people that don't support President Obama don't support him for a lot of different reasons. I don't think this is going to be the one deciding factor. And by the way, the pastors plan to send a message to the White House with a signature petition drive. They hope supporters will sign it. And we have put a link on our website at WREG.com. Just click the on-air tab.